In this video, we're going to talk about how to properly set up your Holiday Coro DMX controller programmer. Now, this is a USB cable. It has an output uh, with CAT5 connection on it. Now, that does also come with an adapter. This adapter is intended so that if you're using your controller like we are here, in this particular case, we have the output of the power supply coming into the DMX controller through a CAT5 cable. This is the way that most of our projects are intended. If you do not intend to use it this way, you'll need to fabricate your own cable. So, we're going to go ahead and plug this up. Now, we have the signal coming from the DMX controller. Uh, you can see the black cable here going into the green cable, which comes to the power supply. The power supply injects the power only. Uh, it then carries the signal across. The signal then goes across to the DMX controller. And then, of course, you can see the DMX controller right now Looks like it's running a sequence, but it's really just using the built-in default sequence that it does whenever it does not receive a DMX signal. So, now, these DMX controllers do not have external switches, so what you'll need to do is just like an LOR controller, you'll need to send a signal over the programmer cable to the box, and after that, the box will remember its address. Now, each DMX controller starts off with one address and then it has three consecutive ones so it would be one two three out of the box and you can program it to whatever you'd like we're going to go ahead and first check some of the settings now one thing to be aware of is that the controller here the programmer must be the only serial device plugged into your machine and we're going to go ahead and show you how to check for that so i'm going to go ahead and go in here to computer right click say manage now your settings may be different if you're using uh, Windows XP or a different Windows. I'm going to go in here to Device Manager. We're going to expand COM ports. And you can see here that we have the USB serial COM port. And uh, if you have any other USB serial ports listed, you must unplug them. If you're not sure which is which, uh, unplug them one at a time. You'll disappear until you only have this particular uh, cable plugged in. Now, off to the side, you can see that it's COM port or communications port is 4. We're going to go ahead and right click on that. We're going to select properties. We're going to look at the driver. First of all, you need to make sure you have this driver, the FTDI driver, which is the manufacturer that makes the chip that's inside. And it needs to be this date and revision or later. Now, if you have some other driver that's not FTDI and it's not this version or later, uh, you will need to. Uh, go to the FTDI website and download the updated version. Okay, now, again, only this COM port. Uh, let's go ahead, close this. Now, we're going to go ahead and start the Holiday Coral Programmer. should have a link in your download uh, instructions that came with your purchase. <coughs> now, we've got here the settings. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and do a read. You can see the controller goes off and it says module set to channel 6. Now, at that point, I can change. I can say that this is channels 6, 7, 8. Now, you can enable output, and you can turn up the controller output. Uh, this may or may not work, depending upon your settings. Now, uh, if you need to set the address, I'm going to go ahead and close that, open it back up. If we need to set that, just go ahead and put in a number. So let's say, for example, 9. We're going to go ahead and say right. You can see that the controller's lights turn off. That's an indication to you from the controller, I have received my address. We'll go ahead and close this. We'll open it back up and check to make sure that it's really uh, channel 9. So we're going to go ahead and do a right read. And you can see that it programmed and it is set now to channel 9. Now, I do not recommend using the enable output or the tester over here. Uh, or the version that you download from the website may not even have this as an option. Um, we recommend using X-Lights as a tester if you're using DMX testing uh, and see our other video on how to accomplish that. Thank you.